Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate total working hours in Excel. And I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. Let's say I have this cell and then I indicate by entry the start date and then the end date. I should be able to get the total working hours or total hours worked within this cell. So let's say Friday, let's say assume you you went to work or you reported to work at 8 let's say you reported to work at 8 a.m and you close around let's say 4 4 p.m when i enter this you should be getting the total number of hours worked so you are seeing eight hours so you work for eight hours i'm going to walk you through how to do this step by step with no step skip consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials okay what i'm going to do is that i'm going to clear everything and then i'll show you how to do this okay so this is the empty cell and i believe you can design this normal template let's get them the the days within the week so we start from monday and then let's just hit enter and then i'm just going to drag this down to get the rest of the days and we want to know the start date what you need to do is that you need to format this entire cell and then excel sh should know that what you're going to enter over here is going to be what time okay so excel should know that you're going to enter time over here so right click and then you have to go to format cell so we're going to we're going to format these two cells or two columns to make sure we're going to enter time over there so i just highlight drag this right click and then go towards format cell and then we need to make sure we select what time so select time from the category over here and then there is different kinds of time format which you can pick from and then the location your location you can select that as well so i'm going to pick this i want to display the pm and then either am or whatever i want this time format so i just click on ok so we've actually formatted this we also need to format this to know the number of hours work we want to also enter time over here but this time i'm not going to enter the pm so click on format and then this time around select the time format but ignore the pm from it so now let's see how to enter the time in order to enter time let's say you want to enter 8 am just go ahead and type 8 column 00 once you hit enter excel will complete it for you so you're going to add the am to it so let's say you come to work am and you are closing at what 5 pm so if you go ahead and then type 5 pm we type 5 this way 00 and hit enter excel is still going to do it am so how do you convert this into what pm that is what i'm going to teach you so i'll click this and then you can type 17 and they should be in pm okay so this is another way to go about it or you can just type five zero zero then you give a space and then you type pm so any of this should work for you i prefer to go the other way around using the 17 so if it's four you type 16. so you come to work 8 am and then you close at what 5 pm you want to calculate the number of hours worked okay so in order to do that so in order to calculate the hours worked, we could easily type equal to that's the end date minus what the start date. If you hit enter, this should work. That's nine hours. This is perfect. But what happens if somebody work overnight into the next day? So if I go ahead and then let's say someone someone work overnight, let's say eight. So that's going to be 18 zero, zero. so that is a person went to work 6 p.m and then rather close the next day 7 what a.m so this is rather the opposite and this formula wouldn't work if i drag this down you can see what it's going to give me this formula is not going to work so i'm going to walk you through how to get an accurate formula that will resolve all this issue so we'll collect this formula 
let's just clear this and see and just enter a formula that is going to resolve this issue so basically your work please maybe we may have over 10 workers who work to the next day so we're going to use another amazing formula equal to we're going to use the mode formula so mode we enter the mode and the same process as the end date minus what the start date and we need to bring the device up comma and then we're going to enter one one simply means just a day okay one in excel means a day if you enter two that's going to be uh, the next day so one so what it's going to mean is that we're going to divide this if we enter into the next day then it's going to divide this by what one okay we have the number and then divide that so if it's not in that same day then you're going to divide that by one so we close the bracket hit enter and we're still getting what the nine hours if we drag this down you can see we are getting 13 hours and this is resolving that issue we can calculate whether you work into the next day or not we should be able to do that so if i go ahead and i change this to let's say seven it's still going to work for us you can see what is happening so let's go ahead and then add some random start date and then end date remember to like subscribe and turn on post notification because i'm going to share a lot of tips and tricks right here on this youtube channel so in order not to miss that just turn on post notification subscribe and like and share this video with friends so let's go ahead and add that so let's go ahead and add some few start dates and end dates and see how to get this done. So I'm going to say 5 a.m. Let's say so I'm going to enter let's say 5:30 and then hit enter. So it's going to be 5:30 a.m. and then I close around let's say 4 4:30. So just in order to enter 430 it should be what 16 colon 4 enter this this way and you're going to get what 430 pm if we drag this formula down it should work so if you drag this formula down it should work i'll drag this and you can see that means it will work for what eight hours let's do that for what thursday and the test the let's say overnight worker so let's enter 17 colon 45 hit enter so the person reported 5 45 pm and then close maybe the next day let's say 8 8 am then we drag this formula down we should apply to this so you can see the person worked for 14 hours 15 minutes so let's do that for the last day so this is basically how to can calculate hours worked within excel remember to like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification to get the latest video that i upload on this channel so we'll do the last one 9 a.m and then and then what let's see 16 55 and that is you can see so the person worked for seven hours 55 minutes so this is how to calculate hours worked using excel like and share and remember to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial let me get your views at the comment section if you have any suggestion or if you have a simple way of doing this let me know at the comment section till i come away again bye bye